Hello, I'm Rajiv Singh Rathor. In this video, I'm going to explain you about alternate IP configuration. So let me explain you what is the meaning of this IP alternate configuration in Windows XP operating system. Basically, it's a special feature in Windows operating system. It's a static IP address that will work for your computer if it is unable to obtain an IP address from the DSCP server in case of any problem in your network or in your DSCP server. Second, it is very useful for mobile user. Let's take an example. Most of the laptop users often experience a problem when they are moving between networks where DSCP server are not consistently used. For example, in my office, suppose, suppose I'm using IP address from the DSCP server and I'm having an internet connection at my home and I'm using an static IP address over there. So every time when I'm moving from office to home or home to office, I'll have to change my IP setting. So if suppose I have configured that my system should obtain an IP address from DSCP server and I'm not using any DSCP IP or DSCP is not available at that particular moment. In that case, my system will obtain an IP address from a PIPA range. Now, what is the meaning of this a PIPA range? Let me explain you first. Okay, automatic private IP addressing, a PIPA. A window-based computer that is configured to use DSCP can automatically assign itself an internet protocol address, means an IP address, if a DSCP server is not available. For example, if there is any problem in the network or there is some problem with the DSCP server itself. So there is a special range that is reserved by INA, Internet Assigned Number Authority and the range is 169.254.0.0 So this is the range that is reserved for INA, sorry, reserved by INA to use your, to use on the systems in a LAN that is not able to obtain IP address from the DSCP server and these addresses are not routable on internet means if, I'm, if my system is using this IP address so obviously it is not going to conflict with any public IP address so suppose I don't want to use this APIPA range I want to configure one static address on my LAN card and one dynamic IP address that my system will obtain from DSCP server at the same time so by default, IP address assigned by the, by the DSCP server will work and if there is any problem in the DSCP or in the network, in that case, my second static IP address will work that is known as alternate IP configuration. So the things that is required to use this IP configuration, it is a static IP address that you will use in absence of IP address from the DSCP server, a subnet mask for your network, a default gateway again it is optional if you want to run internet or if you want to connect your system with other networks in that case you will need this address a DNS server again it's an optional configuration and a Win Win server configuration so all these servers or addresses are optional IP and submit mask are the mandatory field so this is the thing what is alternate IP configuration now it's time to show you that how to configure alternate IP address so let me show Select your LAN card on which you want to assign this alternate configuration. Right click, again properties, choose your protocol, settings, it is internet protocol. Go to the property tab and look at this. If I want to assign a static address on this machine, if I'm assigning a static IP address in this machine, in that case you will see only a single tab here that is general. If you will select this option that your system will obtain an IP address from the DSCP server in that case it will appear here a new tab so select this obtain an IP address automatically so that your system can obtain IP address from the DSCP server and go to this alternate IP configuration option and here you can configure your static address that can be anything so in my example I'm using 20.1.1.1 this is the IP address or this will be the IP address that will work on my machine. I can specify the subnet mask. You can also assign a default gateway address that can be anything. Uh, in my example, I'm using 20.1.1.1 or 20.1.1.20. Here you can assign DNS address, alternate DNS address, 
preferred wins and alternate wins after configuring all these things click on ok close and here your configuration is complete so now your system will try to obtain IP address from the DSCP server and if there is any problem with the DSCP server so instead of using an IP address from the APIPA range it will use your recently configured static IP address that is alternate IP address thank you